I started triathlon in 2010, and that's when I started riding a bike as well. So it hasn't been that many years, and there's definitely a lot of missing pieces still and, and areas of weakness. One of those things is descending and cornering, and it's something I'm aware of, and it's something I try to work on. There's a lot of things that I know I'm not great at, and it can be frustrating, super frustrating, but at the same time, it's encouraging to know that I have improvements to make. I am at a camp with Red Bull, and we're focusing on my cycling skills. So we've been doing a lot of things on two wheels. We've been doing some stuff on a motorcycle. Should just hide in here. I have never been on a motorcycle in my life. Um, you know, I think the idea here is to go to an extreme. Yeah, it's something that I've been scared of, and I don't know if I'm looking forward to it or not. <laughs> So scary. To be a successful athlete, I have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, but we all like being in our comfort zones. The biggest thing I feel Gwen could take away is to really get a wider perspective of, of the race course itself. This really is a parallel for all of life. The more you can see, the more you're able to react and adapt to a situation. I love the little key things that we're talking about, key things that we're learning to kind of make the narrow space seem larger. And um, hopefully I can take that and apply it moving forward. It's really cool to kind of get the knowledge of other professionals and to really have them engaged and invested in this has been a great experience. Yeah, the first couple of turns I was used to going Motorcy 10 times that faster, you know? Yeah, and I'm like, oh yeah, I can take this. I wanna just have as many tools as I can to show up on race day and be prepared as possible. Normally, you know, I'm waking up in the morning, I'm going for a run, going for a swim, and I'm going for a bike ride, and a lot of times I'm focusing on improving my power output or improving my time. And a lot of times I'm not able to step back and just focus on the basics. This kind of repetition really does help because here we get to do the same thing over and over again, kind of build up a foundation to work on. There we go. Easy to see her progression because she, she started out pretty timid, pretty rigid. By the third day, like you could definitely tell she was picking some some things up that we were teaching her. There's the story of a stone cutter where you have this person chipping away at a stone and it might be the 101st time that they hit the stone that it finally breaks, but it wasn't that 101st blow that was the difference. It was all those times leading up to it that made the difference. Look ahead, relax, look ahead, relax, there you go. Ahead. I know that if I work at things and I continue to work at things, even if I don't see the outcome right away, I know that I'm progressing towards that outcome and that hopefully it, it will turn into a success. If we only work on our strengths, we're never gonna improve and we all have a fear at some point, but the more confidence you have and the more belief you have in your abilities, the less that fear is. And you know, I gained a ton of confidence this weekend and I'm really looking forward to applying what I've learned.